Good afternoon and welcome to the east coast of Valencia with me Brian on the Costa del Azara on a beautiful beautiful day it's around about 32 degrees um, it's just lovely sunshine we've had a bit of rain around the last few days and some thunderstorms but today again on the Sunday it's turned out absolutely beautiful I'm actually walking along one of the many walkways on the east coast natural walkways uh, there's a few people coming past me so uh, we're on the beach so we don't have to wear masks at the moment so I'll carry on I'm just going to turn you around hello Neil I'm just going to turn you around so you know where I am there we go hello Susan hello Neil hold on like I said this is very natural um, pathways uh, a lot of people take the uh, afternoon walks on this way it's uh, out in, out in by the by the sea on this side we have the countryside and a small pueblo there in the distance and this is la torre and over that way is chilches hello anthony hello paul how are you today welcome to the east coast of spain with me brian i'm on my own today marina's back home cooking um, so I'm out on one of our natural walks that we spend a lot of time uh, on our bikes or walking along these pathways and I'm just going to carry on a little bit up here it's full of wildlife um, here we go this is the kind of little birds you can find here um, a few rules and regulations in place hello Bob hello Anthony Dardis hello Glenn Cockle welcome to the east coast of Spain with me Brian I'm on La Torre and I'm just going to walk up here and I'm just going to under the fence there we go and show you how beautiful we are next to the sea but also not very far from the country and there is a, a main road that runs along and connects the two Pueblos but this is the natural beach of La Torre and you can hear me crunching through the, the pebbles and there we go there's the Mediterranean there we go that's how close we are to it hello Rob hello Caroline hello Rose McBride hope you hope you're well today it's a beautiful day here I said on the east coast of Valencia many Spanish that you can see are, are walking some on the beaches in the distance with their families but this is so natural it's one of those beaches I mean it's Sunday afternoon and there's nobody here in the distance I said is Chilch's player there'll be quite a few people but if you're one of those people who like your own space then this is where you come there we go and it goes on for many many miles down the coast further down up to the north uh, is Castiglione it's the city of Castiglione further along is Alcabrisi and also Further along is Penascola, where of course we have our, uh, mo our mobile home park uh, with plenty, plenty of areas for you to relocate your mobile home if you're interested. Just contact the office, they'll contact me and we can do a video call. There we go. Hello Tracy. Welcome to the East Coast of Valencia. We're on La Torre, a beautiful, beautiful, natural player. I'm just going to walk down to the beach. Hello Luz Marina, she's watching me today from home, there we go, and for all you people living inland in the big cities, have a listen to this. Hello Pat Norton. Hello Sylvia, hope you're well today. And Christine. This will remind you of Cornwall a little bit, I think. Absolutely beautiful. Hello. Hope you're all well today. I'm on a beautiful, beautiful beach. A few pebbles around, but in, in areas there are sandy places. I'm just going to walk back up. We don't have to wear masks, but I have some good news for you from Spain this week because on the 26th of June next week 
no more masks to be worn outside in Spain, which is great news for us over here. Or mascarellas, as they're called over here. So that is fantastic news from the Spanish government. The, the idea behind it is to open up the tourist industry um, so you can get over here and not wear masks in this heat. I mean, it is, it's not nice with the masks in the heat. So they've come to common sense has prevailed and no more masks from next week. So that's going to be absolutely fantastic. Let me show you around again where I am. There we go. I said we're that close. We're in between the beach and the country. In the distance is the in mountains of the National Park. Hello, John Murphy. Hello, Pat. Welcome with me, Brian, on the east coast of Valencia in La Torre on a beautiful, beautiful day. It's 32 degrees. It's 32 degrees. Uh, even the wind is warm. And happy Father's Day to everybody back home. If it is your Father's Day, it's Father's Day in Spain today. So all you dads have a great time with your children. And hope you get spoiled. Okay, so serious stuff. I'm just going to sit down here in the sand. Here we go. Serious stuff, as you probably know by now, I have three mobile home parks here on the East Coast. Number one is Penascola, okay, which you can download the app uh, or uh, from Google or from Apple Store or caravansandthesun.com and it will show you all the information of the plot sizes and the areas up there. There are no mobile homes to sell at the moment because I've sold them all. So. <laughs> the mobile home market is, is really, really picking up and selling and um, it seems everybody seems to want to get out to Spain or into Europe, into the sun. Hi, you're, you're right. Hello there. You're welcome. Um, I also have Camping Moma. Again, there's nothing to buy there. All been sold. And then further down, we've got Chativa, where we've only got one mobile home for sale. So if anybody does want to look at these sites, then please, like I said, go on caravansandsun.com download it from Google or from Apple Store, uh, see what you like, contact the office and they'll get in touch with me to do a video call. Um, but business is good, business is brisk. Um, totally the opposite of what you would think after a COVID and a pandemic, but it's not. Uh, I understand that housing in the UK is selling quite fast as well. And it's the same here in Spain. Everything seems to be going at a rapid pace and people are buying up properties, mobile homes, even caravans, you know, it's, it's crazy, absolutely crazy. Let me show you where we are again. Hello, Claudia. Hello, Linda, Jack, and Julie. Welcome to the East Coast of Spain with me, Brian. Today I'm on La Torre on a very natural beach in between the countryside. There we go. Two Pueblos, one over there and one over there of Chilches, and on this beautiful natural beach. This is a cracking beach also for fishing, they tell me. And at night, after four o'clock, because you can only fish here now, after four o'clock during the summer, um, you'll find a lot of fishermen here in the evening. The Mediterranean is looking absolutely brilliant. And I, yes, I have been in, I was in on Thursday, and it is very warm. There we go. So if you like your peace and quiet, you want to bring your your deck chair or your whatever you'd use to sit on or, or lay on your towels, beach towels, beautiful beach, not crowded at all, not like you get in other parts of Spain. And only five minutes uh, to walk to the, the Pueblos, there's, there's restaurants, there's cafeterias open. Spain has now got back to normal. And I say that is the idea from the 26th no more masks, no more mascarellas, as they're called here. There we go. Absolutely beautiful. I mean, you can sit here. I'll tell you what, I'm going to sit down on the stones. And it's very warm. As you can see, it's pebbles. But it's very, very warm here. You could sit here all day and it's not 
the heat's not intense. It's just a very nice 32 degrees. There's a few clouds around, and it's just a beautiful place to sit. Um, those of you who like reading books, those of you who like writing books, those of you um, who read maybe on your tablets or whatever now, perfect place to come to relax and get away from everybody. Now, over in the distance, over that way, there are fish farms, just out in the, out in the Mediterranean. Because the Spanish uh, government are very um, green here. And they look after the fish stocks, and they look after the Pueblos uh, with all the, the uh, green bins and recycling. People are advised, like we do back in the UK, to put things in different bins. And also with the cars. Like I said to you a couple of weeks ago, Spain, hopefully by 2050, is going to be total battery vehicles. But, like I said, we have to wait and see how that happens. COVID news here is very, very low. We haven't got any signs of the, the Delta or the Indian, as you call it back in the UK. All the airports are open. There's quite a few French coming now and Germans as normal, but also Denmark, Finland, people from the northern countries who want the sun. And also the restaurants are doing well because of the Europe European Cup matches that are on TV. Spain were playing last night and 1-1 one, one draw wasn't very good, but they're quite optimistic. England can only get better. <laughs> Tongue in cheek. There we go. Beautiful day. There we go. It's a beautiful day here. Um, any questions you want to ask me then fire away and I'll try and answer what I can. If not I will answer you afterwards when I get home. I'm just having a very, very peaceful day, relaxing day in Spain, sitting in the sun. And, it, and it's quite nice. There's hardly anybody around. Absolutely gorgeous day. Let me go down to the sea again. So you people, like I said, you know, I've lived in Manchester. I've lived in inner cities. I'm, rich, I'm now, I say, in Plymouth originally. And this is like normal to me. But to you people who are not used to going to the sea, then you can have a listen. The sea at the moment is around about 18 degrees. It's absolutely beautiful to go in. There. How relaxing is that? And imagine if you're here, it's even better. Like I said, you could just sit here all day and let the world just drift off. No problems, no stress, no nothing. It's absolutely gorgeous. Anyway, hopefully um, made you feel a bit better today, wherever you are. I know you've got some good weather, mixed weather back in the UK. Um, like I said, keep positive. Um, Spain is open. The COVID's low, it's all positive here, no mass next week. Things are going forward. Um, and everyone laughed when Spain, oh, you're so slow, nothing's happening. Spain seemed to have got it right. <laughs> you, you know, everything's starting to open up. They did say into June, July, August, they will be opening up. Let's hope, you know, you people can get back here soon. Let's hope the UK government um, can come out with some new rules for you to get on the planes. Here they are saying now if you've had two injections, your vaccination, then you can come here. I know the British government, so I read yesterday, are now looking into that. We'll have to wait and see. Anyway, from Brian, 
on the east coast of Valencia. Hope you have a fantastic day and a fantastic week, whatever you are. Keep positive, keep your chins up, and I'll see you again next week, okay? Bye, see you later, bye.